Sarah Drew, her last day, her last episode. What was it like that day on set? Sad. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing is sad. It's unfortunate. That's my partner. That's my road dog. So um, it's uh, it was unpleasant. But she's such a professional and did incredible work down to the last frame. And I'm just really proud to have had our time together. How does, that, how does that make you feel? It's very apparent that he's the biggest Sarah Drew fan on the well, planet. Well, you know, we had, we had such an incredible journey. We really did. We went through um, as acting partners and as friends and, like, doing the kind of work that we had to do as acting partners bonds people. You just, you just bond doing stuff that is that heart-wrenching and that intense. And, and, you know, we really cared about how our story was told and we... We rehearsed like crazy and we talked to the writers and made adjustments and we were always thinking ahead and always making sense of everything. You know, it felt really good to have someone that that we could both 100% lean on one another and trust one another. When we were in those scenes together, we just knew that the other one would lift the other one up. You know, I, I, I multiple times it was like, hey, remind me why I'm so mad at you because I can't, I can't get it, I can't get it. And he'd be like, this is why you're mad at me. You're mad at me because of this and this and this and this. Go do it. You know, wow, like, and, yeah. and we would do that for one another, you know, um, to help elevate each other's performances. So it was sweet. It was special. You know, it was a really special working relationship. So I love that guy. If the opportunity ever presented itself to come back <laughs> on the show, what do you two say? As of you, I'm, <laughs> I'm, um, look, I'm your, I'm, I'm I would, no, I'll whatever. never say, I'll never say never just <laughs> yeah. because they are, um, my family. I mean, I, I still love everyone over there. I love that community. And I, I still, um, I have such an incredible space in my heart for every, everyone over there. So I'll definitely, I, but I do really, I really do feel like, um, you know, because of how it went down, I, I really had to, to part ways with April. I just had to, there was no way for me to like live in a space of possibility of her returning mm -hmm. and also be healthy in my letting go of all of it. So I really have said goodbye to her. You've shaken it loose. I, I have and I've loved her and I've said thank you to her and I've mm -hmm. enjoyed my journey being with her. I mean, she feels like, you know, an appendage. Uh, she's so I'm I she's in, she's a person she's, you. she's yeah. a real person played her in my for life a played her for yeah it's a long <laughs> it's a long time to embody someone nine months mm -hmm. out of the year so um and I really had to say goodbye to her so I think saying hello again would be hard but again I'm not um I'll never say never these days Sarah is focused on her latest project an inspiring film about faith and family called Indivisible. She's teaming up once again with her Grey's Anatomy co-star Justin Bruning and lots more familiar faces. Jason George and Michael mm. O'Neill, who played the shooter in the the, uh, the big uh, episode where the shooter came and shot up the hospital. Uh, Michael O'Neill plays an amazing character. And then Sky awesome. Marshall, who did a guest spot on Grey's Anatomy on J. April, the sequel. Yes. She's in it and she kills it. So, like, yeah, we've got... We got a lot of fun Grey's Anatomy contingency. Mm. I, I think it's going to resonate with with anyone no matter where they are because I think anyone has experienced um, what it means to be in pain and when you're in pain you want to feel some sense of hope and I, and I think that um, the, the greatest messaging in this in this movie is even though something may feel hopeless doesn't mean that it is hopeless mm -hmm. just like what my dad said to me on my darkest day you know and I am um, I my hope would be anyone in any kind of relationship in any kind of it could be a work situation it can be a marriage it can be boyfriend girlfriend 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 boyfriend boyfriend whatever yeah. it could be anything um, if you are in the dark place um, know that there is light at the end of t the tunnel my character has a line in this movie that kind of ties us in because he goes if you've Basically, if you find yourself in this place and you need help, just ask. Yeah. Just, just ask. That's simple. And yeah. it's that simple. 